Hey, what's good, folks? You guys already done seen that thumbnail. You done read that title. And guess what? That's right. We're going to go ahead and do a coffee cake. Hey, super simple, right? Now, speaking of coffee, today's video is sponsored by Cometeer. Listen, today I'm going to be making a Southern Weather iced coffee. Now, check this out. Okay, so look, let me explain to you what Cometeer is. Cometeer is the completely new way of making coffee, right? Nothing else like this exists on the market. It's the only coffee that's flash frozen to lock in the freshness. Now, let me explain to you how Cometeer works. Monthly shipments come right to your door with new roasters and roast each month. Now, let me just tell you about Cometeer. Listen, this right here is a great product. It's versatile, it's convenient, and let's talk about the price, right? There's no need to go to the coffee shop for your daily coffee fix. For less than $2 a cup, you can make lattes, mochas, etc. right at home, which saves you money without sacrificing quality. And then another thing I'm gonna say, listen, most importantly to me, look, your time. Now, for a limited time, you can get $20 off your first purchase, plus free shipping when you use my code at Cometeer.com. This is fire, folks. Listen, this is the way I like mine, right? I like mine strong and to the point. And hey, listen, it tastes great like that. And this is the way I like mine. Some of you guys, you might want to add some like uh, flavored uh, creamer to it. You know, put some little sugar in there, however you want to do it. But if you ask me, this right here wakes you right up. Okay, look, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this going, right? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375 degrees, right? So, bake, 375, start. Now, that's done, right? This is real simple, and I want you guys to take a look down here. Remember, I started this channel on showing everybody how to keep things simple when you're cooking, right? So, if you could put, your, put it like this. Look, we got egg, milk, we got our oil, we got our sugar, and we got our vanilla extract, right? We're gonna put this in here. This is what makes it simple, folks. If you take the time to get your ingredients and get them together, you know, forehand, instead of looking through your refrigerator, looking through your cabinets and doing all of that as you're cooking, you won't have any issues. It just makes it super easy. And don't forget, if you got the right tools for the job, you know what I mean? It just makes your job just so much easier. And I'm gonna say this too, because if you're baking, when they ask for a quarter cup or something or a quarter teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, you wanna have that. So if you're using something like a oil, you got a lot of residue on the side. If they were asking for it, you gotta have yourself one of these spatulas to get it all in there, right? Now, sugar then our extract. I just like to get it all. That's what they asked for. That's me, folks. Now, let me go ahead and mix this up. Now, look, I said mix. We don't want to whip. We don't want to see no peaks or nothing like that. We just want to incorporate all our ingredients. Super easy, right? Now we're going to move to the next step. Now remember, when you measure everything out, just watch how simple this is. Now for the sake of me doing a, a video, it's taking me a minute. For this right here, you're talking about 25 minutes you in the oven. In 50 minutes, just imagine this being the weekend, you got yourself some nice coffee cake. And then for me, I like to have that, you know, that, that ice cold coffee to go along with it. I know some of you guys like to have it warm and hot, but check it out. It depends on what time of the year it is. Hey, with that being said, I'm not finna continue to over talk. Let's get it. Okay, so look, now we move on to the next, right? These are our next three ingredients. Look, we got the flour, salt, and then we got the baking powder, right? So listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit it like this. Just put it here. You wanna mix it here first. Listen, I'm told this is the way I've been taught, right? So you just wanna take this. We just gonna mix this together. We gonna do it here. I suggest we follow what everybody else says. You know what I mean? Uh, look, the true bakers, that's the way they do it, and that's the way we gonna do it, right? Now, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below, you know, tell me why and all of that. But in my mind, I would think that you want to incorporate all of your ingredients here before just putting it right in, you know, in here. You get a better thorough mix this way. So get yourself a whisk. And then for all my old school folks, what we using, I know y'all got that spoon, no, that fork, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and make it look like it's professional. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in there. I do have the top where you can pour all of it in, you know, a little bit at a time. But, but for me, I'm just gonna put it in like this. And I'm gonna move it around. A lot of times you guys hear me say a little bit in increments, but I like to just put it around like this. This is okay. Right? Oh, let's get it all in there. Here to go. Been making this too long. Right? So now we just turn this on. Don't forget, you always wanna start on low. Right? Then you gradually, you know, bring it up. I don't go past medium when I'm cooking, you know, when I'm mixing like this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to a stop. Just wanna bring it over like that. I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna take my spatula. 
And now I'm gonna just go here because we want to get all of it. So you might have a little bit of flour, you know, on the side, a little bit of that mixture, but just go ahead and move it, you know, get it off the edge. And then we'll turn it back on and incorporate it all. Okay, so look, what we made, I normally put in a nine by nine, right? For some reason, I can't find my nine by nine. So I gotta talk to some people that's behind that camera and ask them. But look, we were able to come up with this eight by eight and it's kind of like deep, so this is cool. Now, you wanna get yourself a nonstick spray. And then for all my old school people, where y'all at? Let me know down in the comment section below. What can we use? That's right, we can take some soft butter, get that uh, paper towel, you know, put it in there and then we can just go ahead and grease it. But you know what, I'm that new school and uh, I know my grandma right now is standing up me using this Pam, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So now let's go ahead and take this out. And then I want you guys to let me know how many of y'all hit these, took these out like this, and then they gave it to you. You know, my grandma used to do that too. I know some of y'all gonna be like, hey, that's my problem and all of that. Hey, I don't wanna hear all that. Hey, that's the way my parents got down with me. You know what I mean? After she did that, instead of making sure all of it was off, she would give it to me like this, and then check it out. I go stand in the corner in the kitchen and do my thing. You know what that is. Ah, yeah. All right, real easy. It's gonna be kind of thick, right? So look, we're just gonna go ahead and put this in here just like this. I know some of you guys was thinking like, oh, it's gonna just run out of there. No, sir. You want it to be thick? Look at this consistency. When you got this right here, you know it's gonna be right, folks. Now listen, that's another thing about these videos here. I don't make those fast videos, you know, them quick edits. You know, this is for like people that wanna learn. And if, you know, you wanna see the process throughout, you know, this will let you know. Cause most of the time, like I say, usually batters, they kinda like pour out. But when you're making this right here, we are gonna trust that process. Okay, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, level this out. Cause you saw the consistency, so you know it's kinda thick and it's just not gonna, you know, spread or settle and level itself out, right? So I just take it, kinda like move it around. You're gonna have to be, Use your brain and you know, figure it out. Cause you see it kind of like wants to pull. And I was gonna tell you it's a pro tip. I sprayed the back of my spoon. I did spray it, you know, with a little non cooking spray, but it still kind of like wants to stick to itself. You know what I mean? So we just move it over the best we can. And we don't care like that. This is good. This is what it gives us the texture and it's gonna make. Hey, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Look at that right there and watch how I look when we come up out that oven though. Okay, so you saw that we in our eight by eight. For the sake of argument, we're gonna call it a nine by nine, right? Now we're getting ready to make our streusel. Hey, let me know down in the comment section below, am I pronouncing that right? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I don't say the whole W sauce stand for the worst, worst, whatever that is. You know, I call it the W sauce. Now we just gonna call this the S topping. Hey, but let me know if I pronounced it right. All right, so look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my microwave right now. I'm just gonna melt my butter, right? It's these four ingredients that we put in here and I put gloves on, right? Reason I got gloves, cause I'm gonna do a little work in here. And this is how we're gonna apply the topping on there. Hey, super easy. I feel like I'm doing a whole lot of talking. Let me hit this in the microwave and I'll be right back. Now we're getting ready to get into it, right? You see it's already melted. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in here, right? Let me, I should have started off by saying, obviously I got a bowl, right? So get your bowl and then you just put the rest of your ingredients in here like this. It's okay. Just do it like this. And then listen, I've had this out. If you guys notice when you have brown sugar, I want you to come in and look at look at this. See how it really just don't want to come out? Listen, the longer you have this brown sugar out, the atmosphere will take out a lot of the moisture, right? So I just take it and I kind of like just, you know, break it up again. It wasn't like this when I first put it in there. Get yourself a whisk and just start moving this around like this. And I got gloves on for a reason. I start off with this but you see how it gets a little clumpy? And don't forget the brown sugar starts to like lose some of its moisture, right? Which is okay. I know these new these new type of whisks now, a lot of us got the, this is a uh, metal one, all the, you know, obviously, but a lot of us got the like, the, uh, I guess that'd be like the rubber or you know, or something like that, like silicone. But for me, I like to use that just to get it going. If you get some hard pieces like this, just go ahead and use two fingers, mix it up. And this is what I was talking about by using your hand, right? And this makes for the top. Now we're gonna take the top, right? And we're just gonna sprinkle this right here on the top like this. Look at that right there. Ooh wee. Now I'm just trying to get it on here, you know, kind of like even, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna show you a trick that I like, that everybody do. This is how you really make them. I don't know, I can't take no credit and be talking about this is how I like and all of that. Listen, if you're gonna make these, we're gonna make them right, right? So once I got the topping on here like this, I'm gonna save it just a little bit back and I'm gonna show you why. Now, you wanna find yourself something 
but it has like a little round edge on the bottom of it. Like if you got any, you know, your small spoons, a wooden spoon or something like that, you can use that, right? But this, now I'm gonna just take my finger, cause you know, my, my finger, you know, I'm a decent sized cat, you know what I mean? So I don't wanna be poking no big giant hole like that. I'm gonna take, you know, my small finger and I'm just gonna push some of this down like this. Just any, whatever pattern you wanna do, that's the right one. The depth, that's up to you too. You know what I mean? But you'll see once we get through with these and how they turn out, you're gonna be like, ah, I got it now. Now, remember I saved a little bit left? Look, cause we wanna come back over the top. We just fill these up, just like this. I'm already up to temp. I'm gonna put this in the oven. We are gonna go in for about 20, 25 to 30 minutes, right? Hey, the real trick is, even when I'm doing my barbecue, I don't know when the meat gonna be ready. You know why? Cause the meat gotta talk to me and tell me. Same thing with bacon. We gonna use a, uh, and let me just say this, I say same thing with baking, not bacon. All right, so look, I use a, let me see, do I have them right here? Get yourself a toothpick. Right about at 25, I say 25 minutes, we wanna hit it and check it. If it comes out dry, then we good. If it don't, we go back in there for maybe about another five minutes. Super easy, folks, let's get it. Okay, so check this out. You see the toothpick? Listen, my timer went off right at 20 minutes for me. I checked it. It was still came out, it wasn't clean, so I put it back in there. I got a timer set right now to go off like every five minutes just to keep checking it. We don't wanna like overcook it. Now that we know we close, what I'm gonna do is, we are gonna go ahead and make our icing. Now this part right here is completely optional. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in, just like this, right? We are gonna come with the butter, right? Everything better with butter, right? Now, get yourself a whisk or old school fork. You know, it all works. And all we're gonna do is just keep whisking this around till we get the consistency consistency that we like. Now, I know you guys are saying, hey, this dude over here talking with this toothpick in his mouth. But this is more native to me, folks. This is how I get out. These are the things that you guys don't get a chance to see. You know, behind the, you know, behind the scenes, this is how I am. I wake up, come here, you know what I mean? Then when we start cooking, I usually put a toothpick in my mouth. Somebody always has to remind me, hey, take it out your mouth, we filming. But I got an excuse today. So, take a look at this right here. If you like yours thick like that, that's great. This is the consistency that I like. If you want it to be a little bit more on the runnier side, you can just add yourself about a quarter teaspoon of milk, and then we just keep adding that till you get to what you like. But for me, folks, this right here, let's look at it again. Hey, I'ma kick back and let y'all hear this music. Let me go ahead and slow this down. You know, let you go hear this food porn. Look, look at this right here. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look. Look, everything is right. When I hit it with a toothpick, especially in the center, you know what I mean? That tells me when it pulled out clean, that was good. Then I went ahead and checked the edges. But if the center is clean, you know the rest is right, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my, just take a knife and I'm just gonna take it like this. I've already let it cool, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut myself, you know, a line here. Look, I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of that. Let me go ahead and just cut these. Then we are gonna pull these out and then we are gonna prep them. So you guys can see again, look at that consistency, right? Now, take a little bit, and I'm gonna get it to just flow over the top of this right here. Check it out, folks. Okay, look, I want you guys to notice something right here. Look at my coffee. I let the people behind the camera, they convinced me to go ahead and add some creamer to it, some vanilla creamer. And listen, I did taste it. You can see, look at the top. I didn't drink a little bit of it down and I can tell you this right now, it is fire. So I'm gonna hit this one more time. Hmm. You know what people? You know, I used to be a hot chocolate guy, but I see right now I'm finna work this in. For a limited time, you guys get $20 off your first, you know, your first order, right? So listen, there's gonna be a code. I want you guys to look down in the description box below and it'll be right in there. Get it, come back, talk to me and tell me what you think about that. Let's go over here and, and address this here. Hey, I feel like this is the elephant in the room because y'all see this. You done seen all of the ooh wee, the icing and all of that. You know this right here is fire. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut myself a piece, you know, off of this. I don't know why I'm using this. I should have just picked it up and just went ahead and, you know, just took a bite out of it. But you see this right here? Oh man. Hoo wee. Cheers, y'all. Hmm. 
But I can tell you this, it's nice, it's moist. And remember, I told you the icing, that's up to you guys. But for me, I need it all. Put all the sweets and check it out. Now that I got it broke down and all that, we finna wash it down, folks. I just had to laugh. Because if you watch some of my videos, you know I like to like a drop of fork, knife, spoon. I felt like taking this cup and holding it like that and <laughs> just dropping it. Hey, this combination right here is fire, folks. Let me know what you think. Let me go ahead and wipe my mouth and then we're gonna wrap this up. Hey, this right here, this combination is fire. All right, look, so check this out. I want you guys to just tell me what you think about this and I gotta address this part. They call it coffee cake, right? That's the way I was brought up, but then when you make it, it don't have no coffee in it, nothing like that, but I see why. Listen, the coffee combination and this right here go together hand in hand. I don't wanna oversell it. You guys gotta just try it, make this, let me know what you think. Come see me down in the comment section below after you make it, let's talk now, talk later, all of that. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? It's about four people behind this camera and they got their lips all licking them and doing all that, and it's about to be out of here. Guess what? I'm out. Peace.